Hi there, everybody. Uh, my name is JMac, uh, and uh, I am going to be doing a tutorial today on how to write a simple program uh, in C++, a console application, uh, that will prompt a user to enter in three numbers, uh, and it will take the average of them. Uh, so the first thing I want to say uh, is the program that I'm using is a free one, in this instance anyway, uh, and it's a dev C++. You can Google it, uh, and it's actually a really, really nice program for for the fact that it's free anyway. Uh, I've been really impressed with it, so make sure you have a look at that, uh, and it's really easy to get started. So I guess the first thing that we're going to do is include our libraries. Oh, that's not right. Include IOStream and using namespace std. Uh, these two, uh, just for this specific program, those are the libraries that we need. So you need to have those included. The next thing is int main void and your opening curly bracket. Now the int main void uh, basically just initializes the main code section you have to have it there okay so now we're actually ready to start coding uh, first thing we need to do is declare our variables so what you need to do to start is this I'm gonna just type it out and then I'll explain how everything works okay so this is a double there's two types of well there's more than two types but for the most part what you're going to be dealing with there's about two types of number variables one is an integer and or int and one is a double the integer deals with whole numbers and double deals with uh, d when you're working with decimal places so in this particular program it's probably smarter to use decimal places because the user could enter in uh, a decimal place uh, for the numbers that they want averaged so this right here is your variable uh, notice the D in front of it, it has to be there uh, it's the notation for double uh, and uh, it's it's important so this is your variable this is the equation sign and your two zeros here are uh, basically just saying that the uh, variable doesn't have a specific number assigned to it yet so you can actually uh, that's how the user assigns the number to it if you actually put a, a value in here it would not work properly so this is your uh, well I'm drawing a blank here this is your semicolon <laughs> <coughs> excuse me this is your semicolon uh, it's important to have most definitely if you don't have it the program will actually run up with errors when it's trying to compile so we're gonna do a couple more of these because we want to make an average of three numbers and then our last one we're gonna do is the average the variable for the average that we want to do okay so that's done now the next thing that we want to do is actually tell the user t to input the numbers. So what we'll do is this, and I'll tell you how everything works once I'm done typing this up. Okay, this is uh, C out. It's output into the program, and it's it's kind of like an echo statement in PHP. Uh, it says out loud in the program what you want the user to do. It's like a statement. It's it actually shows up in the program as as this. You want it in quotes. If it's not in quotes, it's going to try to find a variable, one of these, and you don't want that to happen because it'll show up in errors and it won't compile as well. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. I was going to do it later, but we'll do it now. Let's put an endl in there. Now, endl is a uh, a carriage return which just moves down one space in the program just makes it a lot cleaner okay the next thing that we're going to be doing is the inputs what we actually want the user to input so we're going to do the first one then I'll explain it okay so now we're actually using the variables d number one we want the user to input a value for d number one it says please input or please enter three numbers so we're going to be putting the input for the three numbers 
Notice also this different uh, directions. The C input goes towards the code and the C output goes towards C out. It is very important that you have these in the right direction otherwise the program won't compile properly again. So we're going to do all three of them here. Okay, so that part's done. Now we need to do a little bit of math to take the average. So what we're going to do is we're going to implement the D average and we want it to equal D number 1 plus D number 2 plus D number 3 divided by 3. Okay, uh, now make sure that you have these in there because if you don't, uh, C++ operates under the same fundamentals as uh, uh, algebra. So if you didn't have it in there, it would do the division before the, the addition, uh, just by standard algebra rules. Okay, so that's done. Now we've got everything done for us. Uh, the user's Im now inputted the variables, the math is done. We want to actually tell the user what the average of their numbers are now. So we're going to go, let's say the average of the numbers are Okay, and we're going to do the chain statement again. That's what this is. Chain statement. D average. So it's going to display the uh, variable in the number form after all of the math and the user input is done. And let's do a couple of carriage returns for that too. Okay. So that part is done now as well. The last thing that we need to do is a couple of closing statements. Uh, oh, that's not right. System pause. Now it's not necessarily required for all machines or for all uh, programs necessarily. Uh, Visual Studio doesn't require this to happen, uh, but uh, Dev C++ does. What this causes the, the program to actually stay open. Otherwise it would just open and close in Dev C++. So it's very important to have this. And then we have return zero. And our closing bracket. This is our code. This is the important part. Everything looks good. No mistakes. Now, just so you know, you don't have to necessarily have that spacing there. I just do it so that it looks clean, people can read it easily, uh, and if you want to make it easier for people to read, you can also add in a comment at the end with the double slash. Okay, so we'll save this now. You don't really need to see where the save is, because it's pretty easy. And then we will, I'll move the program here so that you can actually see how this works. You can execute, compile and run. So it's compiling main.cpp, and there's our executable. Please enter three numbers. So let's enter 124, 125, and 126. And the average of the numbers is 125. That's my first tutorial. There will be more to come. Thank you for watching.